I am at the Geek Art Show, as you can tell, from the ukulele music. And I'm here with Robert. Hello. Artist and soon-to-be science fiction author? Yes, science fiction author, martial artist, artist, and weirdo nerd. <laughs> All good things. And I am buying this piece because it is gorgeous. Thank you very much. So earlier we were talking about, about your use of math and art. Yeah. yeah. And I wanted to ask you about that again on camera because it was really cool. Okay. Well, the thing is, is that uh, I don't believe there's a division between subjects. Uh, I believe that there's a unity to all knowledge. And the thing I really love about math is it's, it's the language. It's not just the language of nature. It's the language of music. It's the language of art. And there's a connection. So I incorporate some of the equations in my artwork because I actually just, I, I like the, the aesthetics of them in and of themselves. And even if I don't necessarily understand the equations if they're complex, it's like I know that there's meaning behind it. And to tie it in actually with the, the sci-fi book, if we encounter another alien species, there's going to be one thing that we're going to have in common. They'll have different symbols, but the symbols will mean the same thing. So there's that connection yeah. too. Robert, I learned today, loves math so much he has it tattooed on his body. Yes. There we go. Best tattoo ever. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Robert. Thank you. Um, I'm with Sean Chapel of SeanChapel.com, um, who just sold me this brilliant print that I, not that one, this one, which is going to go up on my wall because it's awesome and a magnet to freak out my boss. <laughs> awesome. But, uh, Sean, can you tell me a little bit about your art and why you do it and what you love? Uh, absolutely, yeah. It's a lot of, um, I'm a big fan of horror, uh, horror films. Uh, Try to look there, look here. Uh, it doesn't matter, just speak speak loudly speak because there's a ukulele behind That's us. That's it, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I'm, a, I'm a horror fan and, and a sci-fi fan, and uh, I do, I love surrealism, and I love sort of free thinking, so I do a lot of lateral free association with my artwork, and uh, sometimes it's themed. This one was about uh, sacrifice and harvest to try to uh, make a make a good harvest. So you know, I've got a, somebody who's tied to a stake, spewing up a demon, and all that old occultism idea of, of trying to uh, make something work. And other things uh, like the magnet that you that you purchased there is just it's an evil pumpkin skull, and it was just an idea that I liked. You know, so sometimes they're simple, sometimes they have a have a point, sometimes not. Awesome. You can find all of Sean's work at seanchapel.com, and I'm so excited to hang this stuff in my studio. I am buying another print, which is sideways. I'm here with Julie. Hi. Who made it. It's awesome. Can you tell me a little bit about your work and why you do it? Um, right now, it's just a hobby. I do digital art, and I do character design for people who have descriptions of the characters but have no visual work. So that's what I do. And if I were to look for more of your art, where would I find it? Uh, you can find me at inputerror.dvnart.com. I'm just going to get a shot of your gorgeous prints here. I keep coming back to this one too. It, it's it's sort of half American Beauty, half Shoujo Kakabe Utena. Yeah. <laughs> and I really like that for reasons that I'm not quite clear on and we're prepared to explain on the internet. But thank you very much, Julie, and I'm really looking forward to hanging this in my studio. Thank you very much. I'd like to look down at the earth from above. I'd miss all the places and people I love So although I might like it for one afternoon I don't want to live on the moon